Welcome back. One of the oldest family-run businesses in Seward is closing its doors after the third generation of owners decided to retire. As CBS 11's Heather Hinsey reports, Brown and Hawkins has a rich history in Alaska. It's been a staple in Seward since the beginning of the town itself. Charles Brown and T.W. Hawkins moved to Alaska during the gold rush. When that didn't pan out, they went into business together. A group of men, railroad people and T.W. Hawkins, were all sitting around in Valdez waiting for the steamship to go home. And they said, let's don't go home, let's go start a town. So they loaded up their mules and horses on barges and came around the bend and started Seward. So here we are. Hawkins ran the mercantile side and Brown started a banking business. The back of the store still houses relics including a bank vault and safe. The drawers hold papers from the past, letterhead and stationery, and even a phone book that predates the state of Alaska. This is the last Brown and Hawkins retail store in the last frontier. We had one also in Connick and we had one in Valdez. They kept the one in uh, Seward because they thought Seward was the prettiest town in Alaska. And we think it is too. It's like an icon, you know, being that it is the oldest continuous family run business, it's 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 like the business in town. Hugh Darling, a grandson on the Hawkins side, and his wife Iris took over the business in 1989. Now it's time for them to retire. Our children, we have three, two are in California and one's in Florida, and they aren't interested in moving to Alaska. Employees, family, friends, and customers are sad to see the mercantile's era come to an end. It's going to be very emotional. It's, they're like family to me. I've been waiting for them to retire because we're all going to meet someplace down south and have some time in the winter <laughs> together. We have a lot of history and uh, it's, it is very sad, but there comes a time to end things and it's time for us to move on. As one door closes, the family hopes it will open another for a new business to move into the building, though no one will ever be able to replace Brown and Hawkins' mark on Alaska's past. Heather Hinsey, CBS 11 News. And the Darling family plans to close the store on September 30th, then retire to Florida. They also own the building that houses Sweet Darling's Gelato. That business will stay open after the gift shop and retail store close.